Visualizations are a stylish way to display your data, but sometimes you may want to see the raw numbers behind them. InfoAssist provides multiple ways to do this. Once you've created content for a visualization, accessing the data behind it is simple. In the top right-hand corner of every visual in a visualization, there is an arrow that opens a menu of data view options. Click Show Data to see the fields of the visual in the form of an active report, which you can modify with the active report options, which allow you to filter the report, sort by any of the available columns, or even view the data in the form of a chart. Show Data with related columns will also bring up an active report and will automatically augment the data from your visual with additional fields and measures, creating a more robust display of your data. You can also export your data as an Excel spreadsheet by pointing to Export Data in this menu and selecting one of the two options. The Summary option produces a spreadsheet of the data in your visual. The Data Detail option also produces a spreadsheet of your data, but includes the same additional fields that you can see using Show Data with related columns. A maximum of 100,000 records can be exported, so the Data Detail option may not work with visuals containing a lot of values. You can also view the data used in a visual at runtime. Clicking the arrow in the bottom right corner of a visual reveals a grid icon. Clicking this icon brings up the data shown in a report, allowing you to see the exact values for all of the points or sections of a chart. This lets you take a quick look at your data to compare it with your visual, making it easier to understand and helping to identify any outliers or other trends. You can bring the chart display back by clicking the grid icon again. Visualizations provide an interactive and stylish interface and the ability to access the raw data underneath. To learn more, visit the WebFocus 8205 Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.